Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Playframe and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And the Junon region, which we've just reached, and we've got a chocobo friend now, but that quest we were doing is not done. We actually need to uh, proceed up here to head to the Wainwright's hut, right? Because we need the parts for the cart thing that we're actually... Yeah, you know, you get it. Bird, assist me. Thank you. I want to see how this wall climbing thing works. So. Hello, owl. Uh, oh. <laughs> I love it. You guys coming? Just me? Too cool. Oh, careful. Nope, nope. Keep climbing. Cloud, keep, keep climbing, bud. There you go. Dash. You can do it. Yeah! Now this... Mako Owl has kind of like a different color going. Is this... Owl just signaling it's a climbable wall, or is it directing me to a new kind of spring? Oh, there's another one of those things too, goodness. Alright, uh, Owl, yes, you're very excited about this direction, I, I understand. Lead the way. I think we're headed the right way for this, anyway. Kick it. hey -ya. Junon is home to the summoned entity Phoenix. Oh. Though a freak is often associated with fire, Phoenix's flames are no less potent. In fact, the conflagrations of this undying bird are said to imbue those it touches with renewed life. Perhaps it will offer you its grace. Maybe so, bud. It's silly, I love it. Did I find it? I think I did. I found something anyway. Yeah! Give me all the things. I really love the music that plays in the areas surrounding these. Excellent use of that light motif from the original. Heck yeah. Ooh. Yes, please to the region, Intel. The rise and fall of the Republic of Junon. The people of Junon were once largely seafarers, who only returned to the shore to peddle the bounty of the ocean. Unlike other communities that settled in a single location and gradually expanded their territory, these sailors preferred the freedom of the open sea, and over time banded together with like-minded souls to form a unique society. As a republic, they repurposed a flotilla of large vessels to construct a floating city that would serve as the center of their trade network. Having forged a robust infrastructure, they then set their sights on uniting the disparate peoples of the world. Though Junon ushered in an era of economic and cultural prosperity, it was not to last. Shinra's revolutionary Mako technology put paid to their ambitions, and their once proud city now slumbers beneath the waves. Interesting. And also, in, like, introducing the idea that there might be more stuff underwater. Things to think about. Uh, it's a whole new region to explore. I'm excited. What's over here? This might be... the person we're looking for for the quest. Yes. Hello? Um, excuse me. Can I help you? I hope so. We're trying to fix Gabe's cart. Oh, so you're looking for parts. Well, you'll have to come back tomorrow, or the day after. I'm too tired to help you right now. Hmm. Think a swift kick could get him up? Hmm. I think Aerith would appreciate us waking gently. Rai, 
rise and shine. Get up, sleepyhead. Come on, please. <sighs> the voice of an angel. I'm gonna dream sweet dreams tonight. <sighs> you wanna get my ass up? Then you bring me exactly what's on that list, got it? I think it worked. Well? I say we get his ass up. It's a plan. Use the Wainwright's map and your Chocobo sense of smell to locate the materials buried throughout the region. Press left to view his map and examine it more closely with L1. Phenomenal. I just realized, is this the guy... Is this the guy in the original who's in that cave near Junon who is constantly asleep? I think it is. <laughs> Need of them to actually tie him in with side quests and stuff. That's great. And also these are neat. They kind of seem like they might be grave markers of a sort though, so I do not want to disturb them. Boy, it is lovely. Alright, we got stuff to find. Let's go. Ooh, not what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Sure not going to fight Phoenix at full strength, let me tell you. So how much harder are these going to get to synchronize with? Square, square, triangle, triangle. Okay. Okay. Here it goes. Square, square, triangle, triangle. Pretty close. Yay! Perfect. data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. That's the plan. Anyway, back to what I was actually doing. So, let's see. We're on the road. We can hit left to see the... All right. Hmm. Doesn't look like it precisely matches... the layout of my map. Hmm. But if we uncover more of the map, maybe it'll be a little easier to recognize what that is supposed to align with. Let's head in this direction, see what's over here. Grab some towers and whatnot. And also, start asking around if there's people here. And maybe there's not. It just sort of looks like a settlement, you know? This first. Alrighty. Where is Button? Here we go. This does sort of look like it's the landmass that's on our little drawn map a little bit. I've confirmed proto -rel energy signals in your vicinity. Would you mind investigating? Yep, yep. Let's see here. Oh, nice. Found a new phenomenon intel. Which apparently those have some stories going on. That's what the... That intel is what the... Bex 
bandits, businessmen, whatever thing was in the last region, so I'll have to set aside some time for that. What is this landmass, though? Is it... Or, like, what is this... landmark feature? Could be these cranes, maybe. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think the places I'm gonna need to sniff around. So, like, I think I'm oriented, like, facing... Yeah, I'm facing north, and I think that it is kind of, like, loosely... ...meant to be this area up here, maybe? Because, like, the Chocobo Ranch is up here, that could be, like, one X. There's another X maybe up around here. I don't know, man, I'll find it. Yeah, so, like, what is this big place with the... ship and everything. Are there people here, or is this just... all ruins and whatnot? Whoa. Oh, this is the Phenomenon place. I see you made it safe and sound. According to the energy readings, the Proto Relic should be nearby. Yeah, I'll look into this one later. That's gonna be, like, a whole side story. Oh, my. That's a lot of boats. I guess a lot of this is that old flotilla. Neat. It's just an entirely new addition to the world and story and everything. Yeah, you can see the Republic of Junon on the back of the boat there. Cool. I'm getting torn in a lot of directions here. Let me go try to find the stuff for that quest so we can get that wrapped up. And then I kind of want to go just dip into Junin itself, or the underneath Junin anyway, before I get too deep into the thick of world intel and exploration and all that. Here's a neat little area. Oh, it's a cache location. Just an old desolate work site. Neat. Hmm. I love seeing these examples of old infrastructure from a previous world. I guess the Republic world. Pre-Shinra. What a great idea to add more history to the location, to all these locations. So Shinra's presence feels like something that is what it would be, something newer. Something that grew up fast and sort of took over. A world that already existed, and not a world that... where it just always was like this. Oh, okay, I think I figured out the map now. <laughs> it shouldn't have been that hard. Uh, so... You can see on the little map here... Uh, a few useful landmarks. We've got the tower in the center, a little cluster of three buildings here, that's the Chocobo Ranch, and another couple of buildings up here, which is, I think, where we uh, just went and got Bell. So that, on this map, just maps to this chunk up here, none of the rest of this larger space. So, in that case, we should be looking at a spot like around here, around here, and like around here-ish. That's where we should be looking to get these quest items. Okay! Might as well go ahead and start with this, I guess. Already found everything here. <laughs> I appreciate that you don't have to find the tower first, that if you find the other things out in the world, you can just do them. So, according to the map, there should be something up here. Yeah, okay. Okay. What 
Where are you? Yes. That's one down. There's two. And that ought to be number three. Perfect. Let's run this back to the sleepy Wainwright. Hey, bud. Nap time's over. I have successfully digged. Hey. Don't make us talk all sweet at you again. Special delivery. We'll do it. Hmm. Eh, we can ask about the part. What? Then you read the list? Everything I need's written right there. I know, I just wanted you to talk about and forget it. Here you go. Oh, -ho. now that's what I'm talking about. <sighs> Yeah. Anyway, name's Freddy. So what was it you needed again? Um. We do need the part, but I want to ask about these other things too, like Gabe. Gabe and I, we go way back. Comrades in arms. You'd never know it now, but he used to ride front and center in the Chocobo Cavalry. We scoured every inch of these mountains, hunting for Shinra units and attacking them when they least expected it. <laughs> Some close calls, too. Don't know how we survived. We fought tooth and nail for ourselves and the Republic, but wasn't enough. Now I'm just hoping to live out the rest of my days in peace. Oh, okay, then what are you doing? <laughs> Frankly, I'm not doing much of anything. Other than thinking about the war, that is. This used to be a shelter, you know? One of the few safe spots during the air raids. A lot of folks lost their lives. Good, decent folks. Can't bring back the dead, but... Least I can do is sit here and pay them my respects. Yeah, this is good world history. Tell us more about the war. Junon versus Shinra. Before your time. You didn't think all those buildings demolished themselves, did you? Anyway, I fought in the Republic Army. And let's just say it wasn't pretty. Got our asses handed to us. And what you see now is all that remains. Thank you for the backstory. Back to business. Oh, yeah. You did mention that. This'll just take a sec. Tell me she ain't a beauty. Nobody makes them like I do, and that's no lie. Go on, take it. You ought to make more than that. Gabe's definitely gonna need him at some point. I don't know about that. Besides, I've got things to do. <sighs> like catching some Z's, for one. So if we're all done here... All right, fine. Thanks for the help. And thank you, Aerith, for your help. I don't think Cloud would have gotten this far on this task on his own. Back to Gabe! Gabriel. Guess what? Brought you a present from your good friend, Freddy. Is that so? Only if you promise to fix your carriage and take better care of your chocobos. Well, twist my arm, why don't you? All right, little lady. It's a deal. Good. In that case, no time like the present. Boy, she does get things done. Whew. Good as new. Oh, oh I gotta say, that old dog really outdid himself this time. Hell of a job. Don't think my carrot has ever looked even half this good. <laughs> Appreciate it, kids. 
I could finally get the business back up and running again. That's great. But before we head out, I just want to ask one more thing. If we hadn't shown up, would you have even tried to give your birds a better life? Maybe. I see. But I get it. Shinra's a big company, and what they say goes. I can't blame you for being too scared to fight back. Hey, I ain't scared of those sons of bitches. Not one bit. Oh? Then why'd you shut down the business? It's like I told you, my carriage broke. And getting the parts to fix it sounded like a real hassle, so... So there you have it. I just... let it go. How responsible. Okay, fine. I shouldn't have been so quick to throw in the towel. You happy? Starting today, I'm giving this job my all. I'll stock up on parts so I can keep the carriage moving and make sure my birds never get bored again. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> then the deal is sealed. You're quite the businesswoman yourself, ain't she? She sure is. Now that Gabe is back in business, you can travel between the Junon region and the Grasslands without entering the mines. Oh, hey, that's nice. Speak with the stable hands at either Gabe's or Bill's Chocobo Ranch to use this service. That's lovely. I hadn't even really thought about it. How, wait, how do I get back to the Grasslands if I want to go back there? Not that I need to, there's not much left, but if I did... Handy. Hooray. And we're getting closer with Aerith. Huzzah! Okay, well... That's about it for here for the moment, I think. Now, there's a lot more to explore out here, but I am way too curious to see Junon itself. So let's start there. I'm sure they're going to give us plenty of reason to come back out here. <laughs> and then probably venture all out to all of this, too, which who even knows what all this is. Let's go to Junon first, though. Come on, gang. And bird. Bell. We're off. Let's see this town. I love how much of a shadow it casts. Just immediately coming this close to it is just <laughs> blots out the sun. Hello. Hi. A checkpoint. Oh, this is probably how we'd get up top, isn't it? Ahem, I would like to go in, please. No civilians allowed. No. Fine. Then how do I get underneath? Here we go. Okay. So all of this is Junon? Everything above us. Below is under Junon. Little more than an impoverished fishing village. Huh. Figures. Shinra's always gotta have someone to stomp on. It's their friggin' M.O. It really is. Like, that's always been there in the subtext, but... Nice of them to actually say it out loud in this one. Love these cliffs. Really pretty. And boy, this place feels huge. Love the ship. So... We're definitely going to be using a dolphin to get up to the top, right? <laughs> That's just a detail from the original. One of the sillier things that happens in the original that I feel reasonably confident this remake is going to preserve. It's one of the best parts about this 
pair of remake games or trilogy soon, I guess, is how much they go all in on the silly. And I love it. Hello. One moment. <laughs> Welcome to Under Junon, our sunless oasis. My name is Rhonda. I'm the mayor and sheriff around these parts. Hmm. Uh-oh. Hmm. What? Avalanche, huh? That depends on who's asking. A woman who could turn you in. And be a hundred grand richer for it. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Can't take it with you. Hmm. Whoa. Hmm. And Aerith to boot, huh? That's another half a million on top. Uh, half a million? <laughs> She's so proud. Down here, though. We know when to turn a blind eye. Consider our lips sealed. <laughs> Sorry, but I call bullshit. Well, I don't think you would, if you knew even half of what my town's been through. You don't like it? Leave. But, over there, there's a quiet little inn, where everyone's welcome. Any guys in black robes pass through? Not that I saw. Did see some black suits, though. Two guys and a girl. Looked pretty tough. Well, well. They made a beeline right for the elevator. Now we're talking. No, don't even think about it. In case it isn't obvious, upstairs is Shinra turf. And the same goes for the elevator as well. Don't ask me what, but the company's got something big planned up there. And security is tight. You start anything, anything at all, and there will be consequences. Noted. Interesting little visual bug happening there in some of those shots with like the uh, LOD version of the environment kind of popping back and forth between low res distance version and closer up higher resolution textures and shaders and stuff. I have a suspicion that within a patch or two that'll be all sorted out, but... <laughs> I thought I'd spotted that in a couple of other previous scenes here and there. Neat little artifact. Anyway. Behave yourselves now. Oh, come on. We always, sometimes... Um... Anyway, nice to meet you. Don't care what she said. There's gotta be black robes around here somewhere. So how are we gonna find them? That would depend on where they are headed. If they mean to continue west, there are only two ways off this continent. By sea or by air. Right. Might want to ask around town then. Locals will know routes not on the map. May have even seen stragglers pass through. Or got boats for rent or something. How about we meet at the inn when we're done? Sounds good. And remember, low profile. Yeah, that's us. Low profile. Let's do ask around, though. And see more of this place. I want to explore. Oh. Snaps. Hi. Paint chipping and wood bending. Time moving on. And the light here. The way it bounces off the ocean below and the metal above. A pastiche of contrasts. The stark steel beams, the weather-beaten homes, the drying fish. Snaps, not to interrupt, but um. Oh, made your way out here, huh? Mind if I get a shot of you? I've got the perfect backdrop. Pose. Getting the exposure correct down here can be a bit tricky. What with the lack of sunlight? 
I truly appreciate the challenge. As always, I'd welcome tips about other promising spots. You got it. I'll keep an eye out. Brittle houses in the sea air. Right, yes. Have you met Priscilla yet? You'll How's it going, Red? You see her. Many years ago, this stretch of ocean was home to the Republic of Junon's capital, a floating city built atop a fleet of interconnected ships. Neat. She's our town's pride and joy. Oil, coal, wind. The Republic of Junon had no shortage of ways to generate power. No need for Mako. No, sir. Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll bring Avalanche too. And then all hell's gonna break loose. People never need it to survive. But somewhere along the line. Just listening to all the chatter. But also Hello. How's it going? I see you are into cards. Are you you gonna say something? This is getting awkward. Oh, hey there, mister. Are you looking for someone to play Queen's Blood with? We'd be more than happy to go a round or two with you. I'm Devin, the younger brother. And I'm Darren, the older one. And together, we're the Double D Duo. A team of twins who love Queen's Blood. You'll face my little brother here first. If you win, then I'll take you on. Two for the price of one. Sweet deal, right? Speaking of prices, if you lose against either of us, you gotta fork over three gil. You drive a hard bargain. Alright, I am gonna need some place to set my sword, though. Alright, let's win some cards. Absolutely shut down. Twin number one. Gonna have to bring more than that. Not bad, but next, you gotta beat me. You're on. Don't worry, Devin. I promise I'll avenge you. We'll see. A little closer that time, but we made it work. Get out of here. Thanks for the card. Aw, I can't believe we lost. You're better at this than I thought. Hold up. Does this mean we don't get our three gil? No, he totally still owes us. I'm pretty sure the deal was if we lost, we got three gil. Isn't that right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You may have beaten us this time, but we'll get that three gil from you yet. So if you're ever in the mood, come back and play. Will do. Cloud, just give him three gil. Come on. Nice to meet you, kids. This was not as informative as I was hoping, though. I'm supposed to be learning about the area. Chocobo Express! Thank you. Finding anything, Aerith? Word around town is Shinra's holding some kind of big event up top. Wonder what? I'm excited to see. Hello, hello. Crows against Shinra, you say? Love the band. How many issues of clear skies is this now? 
I kind of forgot. But that's a good thing, right? It means everyone's going to <laughs> Just interrupting each other. What is this? Right. Did that one already. Good. What else is going on in this town? <laughs> okay. All right. Well. Might as well. Huh? You're not looking to throw down, are you? Sorry, but. I was just about to leave port. Oh. Name's Isabel, by the way. Was looking for a challenge, but failed miserably. Since this place was a total bust, I figured I ought to try my luck elsewhere. Although... Maybe you can put up a decent fight. What do you say? One round of QB before I set sail? Why not? Here we go! Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this. Get out of here. Thanks for the card. That one seems pretty good. When played, spawn diamond dust of power two, four, or six in empty positions. Whew. Have to try that out later. Damn. You are tough. Took the wind right out of my sails. And here I was thinking my ship was unsinkable. Happy to be proven wrong, though. Especially by a real pro. Glad we could get that match in before I moved on. With all that pent-up frustration, <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to think or sail straight. Thanks for clearing my head. I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. Just enough to swab the deck once more. That's an impressive amount of seafaring wordplay in one speech. Well done. What I wouldn't give for a drink right now. I worry that all this winning is really going to make Cloud's ego even worse. At least we got Aerith here to keep things in check. So, what are you finding? Huh. Got like a whole protest going. What have you learned? Elevators are only way up, but Rhonda won't thank us if we storm it. Fair point. Probably shouldn't make a huge mess. Those bones over there, Kate. Nothing makes you forget. Hmm. Ooh. Item shop. Sometimes window shopping ain't enough. Oh my gosh! Actual customers! I know. Do you have anything neat? Hmm. More cards? Sure. Nothing else all that new looking, though. From what I can see. Come back again, please. Probably. Okay. Ah. How's it going, Chadley? I don't think I need to. No, no, I don't need to check in right now. Here you go. Hey, you Oil, coal, wind. Tell you what I should check on, though. Bookstore. Actually, probably not much to see here, but should check in anyway. <laughs> so, what'll it be? Yep, nothing to do. Got a level more. Hope you found what you needed. Weapon shop, though. This could have something. Hello, hello, hello. Maybe. Nope. Got everything. Although. This is quite nice. It seems like all the weapons that have shown up so far and could be findable are showing up in stores later. So if I missed one of these somehow, I could still buy it in a shop. I appreciate that. You know, I'm going to buy one of these. Why not? <laughs> Don't be a stranger. Let's see what Barrett's up to. Those roped fellas run off to. Many, many years ago, the Republic's capital city once floated on these very waters. That stupid. Cities don't float. <laughs> it was a large city. All right. 
Let's see what's fighting <laughs> The chatter just keeps interrupting itself. That sounds awesome! But it was always rocking back and forth, back and forth. Well, I think I'd get seasick. <laughs> you get used to it in time. So what happened to the floating city? Where did it go? <sighs> Into the depths. Shinra sank it in the war. The flotilla now rests at the bottom of the sea, along with its hidden treasures. Hidden treasure? For real? I want to hear about the treasure! I, too, am excited about the treasure. What about you, Barrett? Some fishing village this is. Ain't even allowed to take a rowboat out. Shinra's saying it's only a temporary prohibition. But people gotta eat. Anyway, short of stealing a boat and causing a scene, both us and our black robe friends are SOL. Hmm. Lovely area, though. And I don't think there's anything else that I need to peek at yet, so let's see to that inn. I swear, it looks inviting. And quite cozy. Hello. Hello there. Room for one. Help! Somebody, please! Help! <laughs> um. I'll look into it. That sword. You're some Anybody, kind of fighter, aren't you? Please? That was Priscilla. And from the sound of it, she needs a tough guy like you to lend a hand. But I'm going to. Yes. I was just on my way. We gotta go. There's a monster attacking the boat! Uh oh This way! Down here! We gotta save her! Quickly! Please! Help! Hey! Somebody! Anybody! Help! Right, we should have run into you by now. Almost forgot. Oh boy. Come on. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Is this thing going to be floating this high in the air all the time? This is not the best fight to have red in. Oh boy. Grasping tail. Don't love the sound of that. Better assess this thing. After getting hit. Okay, weak to lightning. You know, that makes sense. Uh, Hang on. Ooh, that's the Wu Tai theme in the battle music. That's great. Okay, uh, anyway, a monstrous aquatic creature that lives off the coast of Junon. It possesses a buoyancy that allows it to swim at high speeds through both the water and air. It ingests seawater and then expels it with explosive force to stun prey. Inflicting enough damage on its head while it is in the water will pressure it and cause it to take to the air. Attacking the water cells it creates will pop them. Oh, neat. Okay, well, let's try to be using lightning stuff where we can. Cloud, do you have anything of that sort? 
Not really. Well, try mugging it anyway. Keep it together. Follow my Red, you're not going to be able to reach anything. Take over. I'm coming. Aerith, let's start getting you set up, Get though. Ready. Stop it. Go on. Ow. We're going to need... Get out of the way. Gonna need a arcane ward at some point. Needs more magic. Look out. Stop biting. No, do not grab. <laughs> okay. Uh, spells. Does no one in this group have lightning? I don't think anyone does. <laughs> Figures. Man, that music, though. My turn. It's pressure, though. That's good. Here it comes. Take him down. Red, hit it. Let's finish this. Here. On it. A fine display. One more shot. Vengeance mode. Hit it. So hard. Do you have anything lightning-y? No. No one in this group has anything lightning-y. What are we doing? <laughs> Bad planning, team. In this case, team is me, I guess. This one's for you. Pop to the water cell, though. That's something. Go and get grabbed. Ugh. Yeah, Red, you're not gonna be able to reach. Here goes. Slowly putting a dent on that health, though. That's something. Ouchies. Yeah, we better do some healing here and summoning, maybe. Red, you don't have a summon on you, do you? Nope. We'll get in Shiva. After we've done a little healing. I think healing would be probably best first. It's your turn. Let's do this. No don't get grabbed. Stay in the air, don't get grabbed. Nope. Ah, this music is so good. Cloud, try healing yourself, because none of the rest of this is working. Oh, red's in a bubble. Please do. There you go. Hey-hoo! Finally managed a good block. Let's use a synergy ability. Uh, firework blade, go. On it. Gorgeous. What now? Back in the water, huh? Oh, no. Water tornado. Barrett, I really wish we could tag you in right now. Over. Where is this thing? You. Do it. No. Darn it. Red help. Please break the water cell. Red. With me. You're up. Come on. There we go. Get in there, Red. Let's see. Oh, you have a freeze, which is also not useful. It's Shiva time. Let's go. Thanks for coming to help. Excellent. So it's my turn. Here it comes. Charge up a tempest. Fire. Save. Cloud or whoever's stuck in there. Icicle impact on the water cell. Go. You'll see. Thank you. 
What's it doing? Oh no, 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 no. Water. Water. Help. That's a lot of water. Don't you dare. We're back and limit break. Hmm. Healing or invulnerability to damage. I want to see planet protection. Let's do it. I'll help you through this. Awesome. Can you take over for I me? got this. Yeah. Stay away from tornado. Where is fish? Where is it? Deal with that. Ready when you are. Use heavenly strike on that thing now. Keep it together. I'll show you what I can do. Boy, if we had Barrett in this right now, we'd be messing it up. Yeah. We gotta do this again. You'll see. You've got this. Hang back. Cloud, get in there and do something. That'll do. There we go. Things are happening. And you've got a limit break. Use it. Ascension? That's new. Focus on a single enemy and deliver several powerful strikes. Significantly increases stagger. Heck yeah. Go. Nothing personal. It's over. This one's for you. That's a lot of damage. Oh no, you don't. Dolphin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice work. Let's check on that girl. Come on. I don't think she's breathing. Hey, we need help over here. Yes, Dolphin, hello. I love you, too. We need to get a breathing again. We should probably go help Yuffie, though. God, she's so cold. What a great Maybe idea for how to bring Yuffie doctor? in. There's no time. Somebody, help! I'm trying this as fast as I can swim. Apparently. Maybe someone should go find a doctor? There's no... Don't just stand there, help me! You're on chest compressions. Got it. Now, start! You picked the wrong girl, creep! What? Those guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. Easy. They're guests of mine. And this one was trying to save your life. He was? Ugh, nice going, Yuffie. Call the guy a creep, why don't ya? You big moron! Dum 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 dum! Okay, Yuffie. Let's get you inside. You've had a rough day. Yeah. All right. Hi, I've missed her. Thank you very much. Hey, where are you going? You're welcome. Not to beat that guy, but kids these days, I swear. Now, now. Who is that? Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. Excellent. 
This is... I love how all that has... Think about what else is lurking in these waters. Uh. ...been sort of remixed a little bit from the original. In the original, if you've not seen it, uh, this whole sea monster with the little girl situation and the dolphin, that all more or less plays out the same. Except you're, like, going down to the beach, you see the girl playing with the dolphin, and then the sea monster comes up and, like, knocks the girl unconscious, and then you fight the sea monster. And then you have to do, like, CPR on the little girl to help her. Uh, and Yuffie is a completely optional character who you can just meet as a random encounter in the woods out in Junin. Or not. Maybe you never do. <laughs> but uh, if you do meet her in that random encounter, you can get her into your party and all that sort of stuff. This is a much better way to make meeting Yuffie not only mandatory on the main quest, but also just to sort of integrate her into story events that were already happening. It's a great touch. Because the little girl Priscilla, while she's nice, like, doesn't really have any longer-term relevance. Having all of these uh, plot events happen in a way that also introduces Yuffie to the crew. What a relief this Pretty brilliant, I think. Worse. I love it. I'm excited to, really to get her into this group and get her bouncing off these characters some more. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for some more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Goodbye!